Hello and welcome to a new update of my Nicomedia Scenic Pro. Now we are on the version 2.3 and I got some requests and uh, ideas what I could add in the scenery and uh, yeah so I tried to fulfill your wishes and uh, yeah and now I want to show you what is new. First let's open the 2.3 version with a double click and the first thing is now uh, we have t uh, on our background picture now we have the possibility not just to uh, blur the background picture we can now uh, alter to the brightness too so let's say uh, put the picture in at first disable the floor and background then we'll go here take some picture let's say this one and use picture, background picture, yes. Make an interactive render region, so with Alt R we do this. And now we can see if we darken our picture, it will get darker. Yeah, that's the first thing. The next thing is. Uh, we activate our floor and background again. The next thing is we can now it's uh, wrong here. Ah, of course I forgot to uncheck the background picture. So uh now we have the possibility to uh to give our gradient here a little turbulence that makes it sometimes more interesting uh, especially if you don't use a uh, floor you just need the background so let's uncheck the floor for the moment and make it here darker so we can see it better and go more in here and now we can use here the gradient turbulence let's see I think so. you get very interesting effects uh, like this. This was the other request. So, and here uh, it doesn't work uh, very good with the floor, but it's not uh, done to work with the floor. It's not for this, it's just to work with the background, but it's, it works with the floor. So, it's a nice effect too. <laughs> and if I don't use a lot of the turbulence, it works with the floor too. Uh, so, okay, uh, let's the floor. This is the turbulence. Go back here and reset to default. And the biggest thing is, uh, I was asked to uh, if I can make something to copy the camera. If we have this camera active and we find a nice uh, position of the camera. Let's activate it and let's say we find a nice position. Okay, this is with the pitch and let's see, so something like this. And you like this and you don't want to lose it. And so, if we can make a copy, yes, we can, but it was not possible in the Expresso. So, I had to script a little bit and we did this script, this copy cam script. And if you now, let's say you want this position, you want to store this position more or less, uh, click on this copy cam. I'll show you later how you install this. And you have a new cam copy with a uh, protection tag so you can, uh, nothing can happen. And if you now deactivate this camera, activate your copy cam and you have exactly the same position. So here we have exactly the same position. And now if you play and I recommend you to if you make a cam copy, just rename it so like this. Then you go back, find another nice position. Let's say we bank in another direction. So yes, I like it. Just cam copy two. And let's say we want another position, go back to our camera. Uh, go back with the banking and uh, 
do it like this okay and yes select this and cam copy let's see three now here we have three cameras and now we deactivate our camera in the rig and here we have our three cameras this was the last one this and this and now you can uh, make a nice movement with these three cams so select these three cams go to camera and take a camera morph and activate the camera morph here you see we have here in these three cameras and now we can morph between these cameras so with this blending option here you see we can if you animate this we can make a nice movement with the camera between the cameras and this is sometimes it's a very nice effect and uh, you have different possibilities here and you can of course you can animate this then and that's it and you have a very nice movement here okay yes that's it uh, yes and now I show you how you install this script how you install the uh, library file the lib4d file you know but uh, it's uh, it's written in the in the file what you get with the mail <laughs> and in this file you will uh, have the every information you need so okay so to uh, install this script you have to go so your the script comes with the email of course with with the update email and uh, you go to the preferences and to your preferences folder here then you go to library and scripts and just this of uh, there will come a folder in a raw uh, file and th th there is a folder called uh, named uh, copy camera and just put the whole folder in here and that's it more you don't have to do so and, and then restart your uh, cinema 4d and then you will find it under scripts and user scripts and you will find the copy cam so and if you want it here in your toolbar it's very easy too so you go to windows customization here customize palettes and here you can search for the copy cam right in copy cam here it is and you can just have to drag it somewhere you want it so you can drag it wherever you find this place so if you and I would recommend make a, here like this gap here you take a group separator put it in here and after this group separator take the camera tag and that's it and if you have it if you're ready check, just close it and go to window customization and here save layout as whatever you want and then you will find your layout here Okay, I don't want it <laughs> twice here, so go back to Windows Customization, Custom Palette, and with Control, double click on something like you uh, deleted. Control, double click, and it's away. Okay, that's it. That's the new uh, features. So the copy cam, and then we have, we can darken the background picture or lighten the background background picture and we have now the possibility to give the gradient background gradient and turbulence okay so i wish you a nice day and if you have some ideas or suggestions or requests just ask me or if you want something more in this rig but i think this rig is getting uh, uh, too big meanwhile but we will see how it continues. Okay. Yes, so I wish you a nice day. Bye bye and tschüss, baba.